trying to make it out here, you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Yep. Something's telling me I'm too close. I, I wasn't doing enough of mine in my business. <laughs> The last time, back at it again. <laughs> From the Boricua. Get you yelling for? I don't have a reason. It's me and the Boricua. I got something cool today, so I already know that my man's back in the shop. <laughs> yeah. He told me it's a caprice kind of day. It's a caprice kind of day. I know that he needs to continue reinforcing the frame. And then at some point, he's got to get paint. He's got to start working on the body. He's trying to have this thing done by April, by springtime, ready to go, ready to go to some shows, ready to hop. So I'm going to go meet him back there. And hopefully I could put this thing in by myself. I'll show you what it is when we get there. I asked him if it was something that I would be able to put in by myself while he's working on the Caprice because it's something that I want to put on the Wariqua. He said I should be able to do it. <laughs> Let's find out. Let's find out. He's bringing in my truck for me because we got this stupid pole right here. Stupid. I'm not going to let you get the chance. But while he does that, we also have the Caprice here. I told you it was a Caprice day. It also has our fire going right here because it is cold outside. We have been living in our winter jackets it's tough out here it's tough out here if you guys are from washington you know what i'm talking about stupid pole gotta close the garage door because it's fucking cold out there <laughs> finally got the temperature decently in here so so what you got going on today i'm trying to get stuff done on this car because i feel like i'm running out of time <laughs> i was saying that you wanted to get this done by april for springtime yeah we're always on a time crunch so probably won't happen but let's try <laughs> It's about to be scariest. While he's got that going on down there, this is what I was talking about the TikTok shop sent us. He didn't want it. I thought it was really cool. <laughs> he didn't think it was cool. He. But anyways, I said I wanted to put it on the Wariqua. He's like, yeah, do that. It's a backup camera, front camera, recording, all that. But since he's busy, I gotta do it by myself. Shouldn't be that hard. The only thing that I'm skeptical about is running the wires. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'm sure there's directions in here somewhere, so. Now because I'm a girl and I'm doing this by myself, I'm gonna read the instructions. Do your thing, do your thing. <laughs> you wanna understand the buttons. I don't even worry about how to use it yet. You gotta install it. I know, why did they put that first? We gotta put it in the cigarette lighter. Installation. Make sure to clean your windshield from dust particles. Attach the dash cam suction cup mount. Because I read instructions. I'm gonna put this on first. Bruh. I feel like that's not obstructed by the mirror. I feel like that should be okay. Screw the rear view camera above your car's license plate. Plug the rear view camera into your dash cam, AV. Ouch. Are you okay? Ouch, that f I don't know. It's really flimsy. <laughs> this thing don't feel expensive at all. They gave me a couple of screws. I want to put it like that. How the hell? What are you doing? Just run the, the light. Just run the wires. And do this whole thing. Because it's supposed to go into the truck, right? The red reverse cable should be connected with your vehicle's reverse tail light. Okay. Is it even long enough? It says it's 18 feet. <laughs> This is gonna travel, so this is not gonna make it. Does this feel like a small car? <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. I was like, maybe they didn't make this, this for trucks. Like a little Honda Civic? <laughs> yeah. yeah, this was a small car. Honda Civic to be exact. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hear me out. <laughs> they didn't make this for trucks, I don't think. The cord to run for the backup cam is not long enough. Right here, it says that it's 18 feet, but you have to connect the red cable to your backup lights. It's not going to reach. I think what we're going to end up doing is just keeping it the way it is, but with the front cam, because it has that display and it records. I think that's what we'll end up doing. I think I did an okay job. All things considered that we can't use the backup camera. Ran the wire there, all through here, down here. They do give you these little clips, which was very helpful. So I was able to just kind of 
tuck in and hide everything. But you can see, camera looks like it works really good. So, and it's already recording. So I need to read the instructions on how to actually use this thing. But What's cracking, what's cracking? How's it going over here? Um, so right now I'm just drilling the holes, making the holes for the, for these things. Cause that's where the battery rack is gonna get mounted on. I got my cylinders in, my springs in power balls in so I'm very happy about that I'm working on getting the these these things in so I can eventually put the battery rack and weld it on there if we're moving right along we're moving right along what was it that you once you get done with the frame and everything you can start moving on to body work and paint yeah so I gotta do the all the stress points pretty much that's what I'm gonna focus on because if I do a full frame off, if I get started on doing a full frame off right now, I'm already too late in the game. Because that's like a, that's a mission and a half. So right now I'm just going to focus on all the stress points. And then hopefully get it painted and everything for for the, for next summer, for next springtime. Spring so, is the goal. Spring is the goal. To have it, to have the hydraulics working and body work and paint. And then after that, next year or next winter, to make it to that day, take it off the frame and start doing the real, real good shit. How are you feeling it. about what you got? What you got got done so far? How are you feeling about it? Well, I'm, like I said, I'm moving right along. I got the suspension already on there. Do you feel like you're on schedule for yourself? No. Okay. <laughs> and then there's another car that I need to get done too. Gotta figure that out. Yeah, I got my hands full. <laughs> but one bolt, the one bolt ahead, you know? Always. So. All right, now I gotta pull the welder out. Oh, about to get violent. That part. <laughs> this is the part where I always say it's hard for me because this stuff, I can't help with this stuff. I can help with taping, masking, putting plastic on the windows. I can't help with this stuff. <laughs> I don't think he wants me to help with this stuff. This stuff is violent, you know? Also too, when he gets into the mood, very quiet, very quiet, mysterious. You don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I never know what's going on. Yeah. I got wires everywhere right now. What a mess. Yeah. See? I was like, how the hell am I gonna clean that in there? Oh yeah. Got him. Got him. I know I have the tool for the job, I just can't find it. <laughs> he got something. I don't know what he, I don't know what he got, but he got something. He's onto something. He's onto something. He's on 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 <laughs> That's a behind the scenes shit. <laughs> always I preach, bet. stay out of the way. You're gonna be in the garage, you stay out of the way. And then I'm always in the way. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, okay, okay. Head nod of approval. Okay, okay. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right. What is it you're cleaning? Or why, I guess? To weld. Oh, okay. That's what you're gonna weld. Because it's gotta be bare metal. Be able to weld these on here. Uh huh. Gotta be bare metal. What is this for? for it's cause battery rack. That's what I was gonna say, cause you're gonna put the batteries in here. So that's what you're working on right now. Battery racks. Got it. Just for the record, that's the first question I asked today. I don't wanna sound stupid, you know? You guys probably know, I don't know. Hopefully we don't catch nothing on fire. Cause that sucks, that would suck. Good thing we got fire extinguishers everywhere. All right, all right. I don't know how long something like this takes. Is this something that you will get done today? No, hell no. Hell to the no. To the no, no, no. We're talking about four months from now. Uh, we're gonna get it done, you know? I have a choice. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, lighting is... Oh! <laughs> Like that. Oh. <laughs> Damn it, boy.
Can you go on over now? I think. <laughs> You did? <laughs> Run out. Run the boy. Well, since I know that sucks, <laughs> he's got to run to Home Depot. He's got to run to get more wire for that. I'm going to make some food because I'm hungry. And if I'm hungry, I know my man's hungry. I wasn't sure how hungry he was going to be. So, we got two sandwiches for himself, one sandwich for me, but we cannot forget some jalapenos for the side and pepperoncinis too. Because if you know, you know. Or if you don't, I don't know. The whole thing. Taste test. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Looks like you're moving along over here. Well, I got to roll back. And then I could roll that and then uh, blow, blow for blow. Blow for blow, huh? Damn it, boy. You're getting like three in and I'm getting like one in. <laughs> At least you're getting one in. But I'm putting up a fight. Well, keep pushing. Make sure that motherfucker don't move, you know what I'm saying? I gotta finish welding these and then I could put that on and weld that onto that and it's on there. Not bad, not bad. Okay, 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 okay. We're trying to make it out here, you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Yep. Something's telling me I'm too close. I, I wasn't doing enough of mine in my business. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Let's see if I can get this bad boy out of here again. The struggle is real. Not bad for more than blind. Blind, huh? Didn't see shit. Is it because of the light? <laughs> dangle of the dangle. Oh. That's how you feel? Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Oh. Eight batteries. Damn, man. They used to be brand new. Oh, they look like they got... Ran through? Yeah, and they haven't even been used once. This is where the pump molds bolts down to, but I feel like this is going to be in the way. My f are in. This is a tie down. And the pumps are gonna go this way like that and like that. So I'm just gonna have all this space here. What's up, Rasa? Back at it again. So as you guys can see, the battery rack is inside the Capris, guys. It was a long day. It was a one-man army. We went blow to blow. Put in three, I put in one. <laughs> trying to knock me out, but the battery rack is in. The next thing we're gonna do is just get all the hydraulics and everything going because I'm trying to see where the car is gonna sit with all the weight. This was the biggest thing I wanted to accomplish for the day is get the battery rack, get all of that going and weld it. And then hopefully sometime this week I get started on the arches and some of the stress points because I'm excited. I wanna get it to paint, but I can't get it to paint until I get all this shit done. This has gotta get out of the way first before I can start hitting the, the body. Yeah, Rasa, stay tuned. Battery rack is in. We're still going. We're still going hard out here.